Weapon design is my passion. Welcome to what potentially might be a new series where I take a weapon that I have in my head, I draw out some stats for it that I think might be interesting, design the weapon depending on arbitrary factors basically, and uh, just talk about, you know, why I think it might be good or bad in the game and really just uh, have some discussion with it. Today is going to be a wrench that you can use to harness the power of magnetism. Uh, but let me explain why I thought of this, because the, uh, the story with it's kind of funny. The backstory behind this weapon is that, uh, I was playing with a friend a couple weeks ago, and as he was playing Engineer, his buildings broke, and he had to make new ones slightly in a different position from where the first ones were. And he was getting frustrated because he kept having to run from, like, his new position back to the old one to keep picking up the metal gibbs. And, uh, the thing that he said to me was, you know, it's really annoying that, like, I have to keep going back and forth. I wish all of these things would just, like, magnetized toward me, and I thought about it for a minute, and I was like, you know what, that would be a really cool idea for some kind of engineer weapon, if you would, like, be able to magnetize, uh, like, pickups and metal drops and all that other stuff, just right to you whenever you had a weapon out, so... I've designed a weapon kind of based around that premise. Uh, it's a little bit more gimmicky than I think what a lot of other engineer weapons are, but um, it would definitely be one of the more unique weapons in the game, and uh, I would probably at least use it some for myself. Uh, before we start designing, let me kind of break down each of the stats and like why specifically I added them uh, to the weapon here. So first of all is the magneto power, where the health and ammo pickups are pulled toward the user. This would essentially allow you to run around and... Uh, without having to go too far out of your way, you would automatically draw in things like um, dropped building gibbs, uh, you'd be able to pull in things like uh, ammo packs that drop on death, uh, health packs that are dropped from like candy cane scouts or like sandwiches or whatever, so that would be, it, it, it would potentially be a little bit uh, griefable, but um, I think if you made the weapon so you only drew in the things that you like needed, quote unquote, that would... Uh, allow you to not just run by a bunch of people and steal all their health and ammo and whatever. And I don't know how it would work in the source engine or even if you could do something like this, but also allowing you to uh, pull in stationary health and ammo packs, um, I think would be kind of funny and would allow for some uh, some pretty interesting plays. Um, the 300% extra building pickup and placement range is uh, kind of along the same lines of just like the magnetism there. It's more of a pun of like the uh, magnet hands that uh, people refer to with glitchy hitboxes and certain games, but um, I think it would be interesting because nothing really does this in TF2, uh, so allowing you to place buildings from farther away, uh, potentially like place buildings up on surfaces that you can't normally get to um, without like wrangler jumping, allowing you to pick buildings up, not from like rescue ranger distances or anything, but uh, farther away than you normally would, so you don't have to like run toward it and uh, be able to place it down a little bit further away, just would save on a little bit of time, and that that's generally like kind of what I was going for is like this is the time saver weapon for engineer. Um, the downsides are a 20% slower firing speed, which is kind of like an all around nerf that affects things like uh, upgrade rate, repair rate, build rate. Um, Generally, I wanted to add something that would like kind of make it slower to actually build the things, but the time like in between you not doing anything with your sentry would be pretty well saved, and uh, that that's kind of the goal. So maybe this is redundant, I don't know, but that's that's the uh, the main thing that I thought of because otherwise it would be a little bit crazy. And then the 20% damage vulnerability on wear just makes it like a little bit riskier to run around with this thing out. Uh, all of these are only when the weapon is active, by the way, so um, you would only be able to pull in stuff like you'd be able to choose I guess is what I'm saying when you drew in everything around you um, I think the the 20% damage vulnerability also like the the thematic reason why that's a downside is because if you had a magnet that strong like chances are you'd pull in stuff like rockets and grenades and I, I think bullets are a little bit too fast but uh, generally you would end up taking more damage just because like so many random things that people are shooting at you would be pulled in, and uh, as fun as I think it would be in the Source Engine to uh, make it so rockets would like change trajectory and like home in on you, that would just be too stupid. I think a weapon that did that would cause like too much chaos to uh, to realistically be balanced. And then the last thing I figured I would give this is a taunt kill uh, because Engineer, I think yeah, the only melee taunt kill he has is on the Gunslinger. Basically, how the taunt kill would work is it would play the same animation or at least a similar one to the uh, Eureka effect when you teleport. 
short. So Engineer would like hold his wrench up to the air, and then whenever a lightning struck the wrench, uh, it would create a giant explosion that would kill the Engineer and would kill anybody around him. So pretty similar to uh, how the Kamikaze taunt works for Soldier, except uh, with Engineer's case, if people got killed by the taunt kill, they would their corpse would like evaporate, similar to uh, how the Pompson and all of the uh, Grord Bort weapons work. So that's my general idea for this wrench. This is kind of a weird concept, I'll admit. Uh, this is just something that I, I figured I'd start the series with because it's wacky and gets people's attention. Let me know if you think these stats are balanced or how you change them. Uh, but let's start designing the weapon. Uh, I have a couple ideas in mind for something like this. So the initial thought that I had for this weapon and kind of uh, what I assumed I would do going in is some kind of horseshoe magnet like this. This looks very similar to uh, the tip of Engineer's wrench, like the actual wrench part. So I thought uh, some kind of like horseshoe magnet on a stick essentially would be a uh, kind of neat weapon that I think, honestly, if you drew it right, I think it would definitely look like something that Engineer would have, some kind of like jerry-rigged thing that do it shouldn't work at all, but it has enough buttons and wires where it looks like it would if the, uh, the person making it was smart enough. And then what we could use for the base is uh, some kind of pipe wrench. We could essentially take the like the base of the pipe wrench, remove the moving part, and then attach the magnet like right along the top. I think that would be a uh, a pretty interesting design for, it, and it would uh, look like something that was kind of like clambered together. Is clambered the right word? I don't know. Thrown together? There we go. So similar to the picture that you just saw, I'm going to draw the base of the weapon to be a solid color based on the teams. I think immediately having something that bright would allow you to uh, to be able to tell whether or not an engineer is using this, which for something this crazy, I think immediate weapon recognition is going to be especially important. So uh, that's probably the best move that we can do. So the base of the handle is going to look pretty straightforward really I'm just gonna like not quite copy and paste but uh the reference the two reference images that I'm going to use just combined together I think would be a pretty solid model and I'll, I'll do some kind of like weird sci-fi stuff at the end but in terms of a base Really, you're not going to get much better than that. It's pretty simplistic, but also uh, stands out pretty well. So something like this for the base, this is like the wrench with no wrench, essentially. Uh, it's it's very similar to the Yankee with no brim, except it's it's not because the meme is really old. Holy crap, that's like a two-year-old meme, I just realized. So then, this is like the, uh, the handle. Then what we'll have is uh, some kind of magnet on the tip, and I was going to do a red and blue one, but I just realized... Actually, no, I think we, because the base is uh, blue or red, I think we still can do a red and blue one. It, it would look correct either way. All right, there's exactly one magnet outline exactly as ordered. Uh, something like this, we might have to find some more creative ways to actually attach this to the thing. But, uh, this looks pretty good. I also want to attach something to the top, because right now it just looks, uh, looks kind of weird. Okay, and with the power of editing, we can instantaneously color that in. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. I definitely want to make the handle a little bit less saturated, but I think overall I'm liking how this is turning out. Um, okay, let's start adding some of the gadgets and gizmos that Engineer typically has on his stuff. Uh, First of all, I want to add some kind of bracket. Before we do that, let's turn down something on the handle. Okay, something, yeah, we'll make it a little bit less obnoxious looking than the magnet. The magnet's kind of supposed to be the, uh, the standout thing. This is a good color. Uh, let's now add some kind of like bracket or something that could go like around the magnet. So maybe something like that kind of. Um, yeah, we'll have to make this a little bit more clean, but I think something like that to kind of keep the magnet in place is going to be the way to go. And then I think it would also be interesting if we had some kind of, like, support brace back here. Uh, something like that to kind of make it look like, uh, the bracket is an intended feature of the wrench and not just, like, kind of awkwardly there. Um, okay, this is a pretty interesting concept. This looks futuristic enough to where I think it could uh, certainly pass as a uh, something that would work as it does and like have these crazy fanatical powers, but at the same time, I don't think it strays outside of the uh, the TF2 art style 
too much. I'll have to be careful about how I implement certain other things, but um, I, I think it's pretty good so far. So now we need something that mounts the magnet onto the handle, and I think just basic brackets are probably going to be the way to go here. Um, really, again, the, the feel that I want this to have is that it was like cobbled together pretty, not, not quickly necessarily, but it was just with whatever was available. And, uh, I think it fits the engineer's character that like, oh yeah, we just casually made this thing that just is like this super powerful magnet. So something like this just to make it look like, again, this wasn't designed specifically to be a magnet wrench. This is a literal combination of a magnet and what used to be a wrench. And actually what I think I would rather do is I made a little like trench in between the magnet and the handle here because I think it would be cool if, um, here's, here's what I'm looking at. There's electromagnetic type of stuff that you can make just by, uh, wrapping copper or some kind of wiring around metal, you can create a magnet. So, again, this is a super magnet. This is, like, every kind of magnet combined. It's science. Deal with it. But what that vaguely sciencey thing is going to translate to is there needs to be copper wire somewhere wrapped around this design. And, um... I think the best place to put it is around, like, out here, and if not, I still think this looks better than it being, like, flush, but, um, like, either copper wire around, like, the outside of here, or we can, like, edit this so it comes, like, out around and has wire around it. I don't know, there's a bit of possibility that we have, but um, generally some kind of wiring I think would be a cool detail to add. So my thought is by hollowing out this section, we could actually put some kind of, like, magnet, or, uh, I guess the battery goes in the middle here. So, just by doing pretty, something pretty basic, just like a rectangle with some wire around it, then we could pretty easily show where the power source is. Yeah, something like this looks cool. This is a little bit chunky, so, oh, oh we're removing a little bit too much of the thing here. When I slim this down, though, to have enough room to add the uh, the wiring around that I think this is going to be a uh, pretty cool battery type of thing in the middle. And of course we have to make the wiring, like, yellowish. Um, I think, honestly, the yellow, red, and blue color scheme that TFT likes to do with some of their engineer weapons is really, really nice looking. Uh, just with, like, the yellow accents and then, like, the uh, either the red or the blue details that they add onto a lot of stuff. Uh, looks looks really nice, so I want to kind of emulate that in this design specifically, but uh, let's just start adding some wires here, and uh, I think we should be good to go. And I just realized I kind of screwed up the main concept of an electromagnet here, so we're gonna have to add a battery onto this thing, but that's alright, I have a space for it right here. So yeah, basically just a uh, coil wrapped around a uh, stick of metal attached to a battery, that's a magnet basically. Swear to God, every single time I, like, try to do anything kind of scientific, I get, like, some physics major in the comments who's like, Actually, everything you've ever said in your entire life is wrong. You messed up how many times the coil needs to wrap around the thingy. Like, I don't know, dude. I'm looking at Google Images as my reference. You think I'm, like, really doing a ton of research on how this is supposed to work here? At the same time, though, don't take that to mean I don't like the criticism. It's actually super interesting to read through, uh, I guess, what I got wrong because it's like, like, even though I got it wrong, it's like, ah, uh, it's cool to know, like, I, I at least either got it close or here's what the right thing is. So if, if I did get something significantly wrong and uh, what I'm assuming a magnet to be here and my very loose understanding of physics, let me know, because honest to God, it's, it's pretty interesting when people that actually know what they're talking about comment. And there we have it, the magnet wrench of fun. Uh, I like how this turned out. I don't think it's the best thing I've ever done on this channel, but... In terms of a weapon that gets the point across, I think this does so pretty well. Now, what I want to do is uh, I'll also make a red version of this. Um, I, I've not really been doing that for a lot of my other ones just because I've had to go through a lot of weapons, but I think just for a single weapon video, a red version would be pretty neat. So there we go. Here's the blue and the red version of the magnet wrench. And uh, now, of course, we need to give this a name. And I'll give my, my closing thoughts afterward. Glossary of terms for magnets. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, uh, let's see what, what we're able to find in here. Can't find what you're looking for? So wait, if I call this number, 
Do you think they would give me a name? Based on a list of idioms that I found, I really like the center of attraction. I think that's a, uh, a pretty funny pun for this one. So here is the center of attraction with all of its stats and uh, some images and freaking whatever, whatever else I've done with it so far. The main thing that I think this would be used for, I kind of mentioned at the beginning that this would be a, a fun gimmick, if nothing else, but um, I think this would actually be like a pretty interesting concept because number one, I, I guess the two uses, you could have with it are number one um, you would be able to more quickly pick up and place buildings without having to go like all the way over to them um, it's basically like four times the range of what it normally is which like isn't too far again the rescue ranger isn't going to be completely obsoleted because uh, being able to pick stuff up from like across the map is super helpful and obviously like repairing which is like the main function of the rescue ranger isn't um, completely ruined by this either but um, just being able to uh, to quit Quickly be able to pick up, and uh, I think the extra placement range too would allow you to get some sentries in some uh, some pretty funny spots that you otherwise wouldn't really be able to without having to like set up a wrangler jump and do all this other garbage. Um, the attraction feature of like magnetizing all the ammo boxes and health packs and stuff to you—it's more of a meme. Okay, this is like this is the hot hand for the engineer essentially, where it's like you could probably find some uses, but uh, the main concept of this is just like. It's kind of silly, I won't lie, but, um... I'm sure you could do uh, some stuff with it. It would be pretty helpful because you wouldn't have to like run around. If your building got destroyed, you just like whip this out, instantly regain all the uh, the gibs that came out of that, and there you go. You've instantly collected all the metals. So um, let me know like what you think of uh, both the stats and the design for this one. Uh, keep in mind, again, this is a gimmick weapon. I'm not trying to make this the most balanced thing in the world, but uh, if you could, if, if you have an idea of how to make this the most balanced thing in the world, then uh, let me know. Uh, I think the, uh, the concept of this is is pretty good and um, yeah cool I, I, I like this now if you're just here to see the cool magnet wrench that's it that's the video you can go ahead and head out uh, I do want to mention though for everyone who's interested in either this becoming a series or modeling uh, this specific weapon or any any weapons that I've done really um, here's some information for you I have no problem with making this a series uh, basically just designing like single weapons over the span of like 10 minutes I think is a, uh, a pretty cool idea um, the random generator weapons are nice, but uh, number one, I have a lot of like other ideas just kind of in my head that stray away from what the generator might be able to do, and uh, these also are a lot faster to make because I only have to do one, so um, I think this as kind of its own thing would be pretty fun, and I, I would certainly be down to kind of like doing a lot more of these, and maybe if you guys submit your own like pile of stats for me to take a look at, um, I could either fix them up as I see necessary and um, just kind of use that as a base. I think there's a lot of possibilities. Let me know uh, if you want me to continue you this. Um, I, I, honestly, I, if you clicked on this video and you're all the way through, you probably do want to see more. Like, uh, it's just kind of a given, but um, any feedback really is appreciated. Um, number two, if you're interested in modeling my weapons, I've had a couple people ask, like, hey, is it, is it okay if I open this on Blender? Like, dude, you don't gotta ask me. Go ahead, model that thing all you want. Uh, the only thing that I ask is that you show it to me, because if you're gonna, like, model something that I've made, like, yeah, I want to see it. Um, I have a Discord in the description, but also, yeah, like, post it on Reddit, post it on freaking wherever else. Literally, any exposure that I get is cool, and also Reddit just doesn't realize that I exist half the time, so yes, yeah, satisfy my ego. Please post this on Reddit if you, like, do either, like, a redraw or whatever. Um, all the ones that I've seen so far are really cool, and I've been uh, happy with how uh, people have been interpreting them, uh, which, speaking of, Yes, this is open for interpretation. If I make, like, some kind of drawing mistake, you don't have to model it exactly literally as I've drawn it. This is more of a uh, concept art than anything, so feel free to, within the bounds of reason, use your imagination on all of these. I have absolutely no problem open sourcing these, so to speak, but, um, yeah, feel, feel free to design these yourself if you want. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know any feedback you have, and most importantly, have a good one.